Oh, I feel so good to be out shopping again. Do you know how long it's been since I've been in a store without a produce section? <laughs> Girlfriend, don't look now, but there's a guy been staring at you ever since we sat down. <laughs> really? What's he look like? Blue eyes, hard body, but I cannot tell if that's his real hair. <laughs> oh, you. Why? We've got to ease you back into the dating scene. Well, he is kind of cute. <laughs> and I won't have to worry about him running off. <laughs> Here you go. Oh, let me get it. No, 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 no. I had the steak. You only had salad show off. <laughs> this is my treat. The divorce is final next month. He got custody of the MasterCard. I got the visa. <laughs> oh, you know what? Let's come back on Saturday. The cosmetic department's giving a free makeover. Oh, that sounds great. I've been wanting to change my look. I'm thinking Halle Berry. I can see that. I'm sorry, ma'am. Your card's been declined. What? Declined. <laughs> Here, just use mine. No, no, no. There must be a mistake. Are you sure you did it right? I ran it through four times. Read but let me. No, no. This is my treat. I know I've got some money in here somewhere. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I don't suppose you'd take Oak Elementary Carnival dollars, would you? <laughs> for a diamond tiara? <laughs> Look, it's pretty obvious my credit card number's been stolen by a thief. Or a princess. <laughs> yeah, you better cancel my credit card account. Fine, I'll hold. Mom, are we poor? <laughs> no, honey, there's just been a little mix-up with my credit card. Most children living in poverty are from broken homes. <laughs> I'm just saying we fit the profile. <laughs> Yes, I'm still here. No. No. No, I didn't make any of those purchases. Okay, thanks. <laughs> what kind of a sick person would buy a diamond tiara, foxy lady lingerie, and then go on a $175 shopping spree at the Joy for Jesus bookstore? <laughs> Barbara Jean. That does it. She can have my husband, but nobody touches my credit cards. Hey, Mom. Hey, where are you going? To your father's condo to strangle a princess. Have fun. Hello? It's the principal for Mom. Uh-oh. See, someone was looking. <sighs> Yes, this is Cheyenne's mom. Can I help you? You're not mom. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, you're Kira's principal. Mm -hmm. She wasn't in school today? <laughs> well, of course I knew that. That's because she was sick as a dog today. I must have plum forgot to call. <laughs> Everything's been so crazy around here. But with all the... the bacon I do. <laughs> Bye now. You skipped school today? I never knew you had it in you. What did you do, get a tattoo or pierce something? What? I ditched and went to the downtown library, okay? Maya Angelou was there. And do I know this Maya? Huh? Are you gonna tell mom? Don't worry, I'm too cool to rat out someone for skipping school. But next time, at least go to the mall. Thanks. I owe you one. Yeah. No, wait. Skipping school is wrong. Oh, come on. You two have done it. Yeah, and look where it's gotten us. Man. 
Dan. We're about to be parents. This is no joke. A year from now, it could be our child skipping school. <laughs> we should use this opportunity to practice our parenting. Good idea. And if we screw up, it's just her. <laughs> hey, I'm not going to be your guinea pig. Would you rather be mom's guinea pig? This bites. <laughs> okay. We need to come up with a punishment. My dad used to take away my driving privileges for a week. I think that's fair. <laughs> Van, Kira's not going to drive for four years. Four years? Oh, that seems harsh. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. I think that you should go clean our room. What? No way. Oh, all right then. Maybe I'll have a little talk with Mom. Mm -hmm. I hate you both. Thank you. We're going to be great parents. <laughs>
idea where Brock and I spent our honeymoon? Two nights in Lubbock on the way to dental school. Sucks being the first wife, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's forget about Brock and go get our free makeovers. Hmm. Oh, why are you doing laundry? I don't remember threatening to cut off your allowance. <laughs> My clothes got dirty. Uh-huh. And since when are you suiting up for the Wildcats? <laughs> I, uh, you know, I didn't want to waste water, so I just threw in some of Van Cheyenne stuff. Okay. Why are you jumping all over me? Can't I just help out around the house? Did Cheyenne say something to you? No. Well, okay. <laughs> You buying that? Not for a minute. But when laundry's getting done, I don't ask many questions. <laughs> Got it. Got it. Ooh. I just love these little angels with the sayings. Oh, kind of like God's fortune cookies. <laughs> Do you give breath? Does Jesus love the little children? <laughs> I'm not really supposed to be buying anything. I'm only at the mall to return my tiara. It was for my wedding, but we decided it would overshadow my hair. Oh, when's the joyous day? It was supposed to be in two weeks, but his wife is having some issues. <laughs> oh, dear. What? This car was reported stolen. <laughs> well, there must be some mistake. I I'm sure that's it. Yeah. <laughs> Security, we have a sinner. So now we know why the makeovers are free. My last car didn't have this much paint on it. Hello again, ladies. <laughs> Who's picking up the check today? Not me, I hope. <laughs> Hello. You're kidding. Okay, all right, stop crying. I'll be there. <laughs> You're not going to believe this. Barbara Jean's in jail. What'd she do? Steal somebody else's husband? <laughs> no, it's mall jail. She tried to use Brock's credit card again, the one I reported stolen. Go, Reba. <laughs> I didn't do it on purpose. Well, I say leave her. And that the slammer will serve her right. <laughs> no, I can't just let her stay there. Of course, it does seem a shame to rush through lunch. Are you ready to order? Sure. Is the soft shell crab in season? Oh, not for another month. That's fine. We'll wait. <laughs> Skipping school is bad ten times. Boy, was that hard. That a girl, huh? What's going on here? Well, Kira raised the valid point that doing our chores doesn't really teach her lesson, so she came up with this other idea. Mm. And you caved just like that. Is this how it's gonna be with our baby? You're the good guy and I'm the big mean mama? Um, do we have to discuss this in front of the C-H-L-I-D? Well, I am not the one who went behind my back and changed the punishment. Well, my punishment was better. Well, I don't think so. I do. You know what? Forget it. I'm not doing anything else for you freaks. Oh, oh, yes, you will, little missy. As long as you are in our house, mm -hmm. you will live by our rules. <laughs> it's not your house. It's mom's. And I'd rather be punished by her than you, so I'm turning myself in. You guys are the worst parents in the world. I just, I don't know what to do with her anymore. Hey, she's at that age. <gasps> Reba! Oh, praise the Lord, I'm saved! 
relax. There's no death penalty at the mall. Then again, this is Texas. <laughs> Reba, I don't know if it's the fluorescent light in her because I've been alone in here so long, but you look beautiful. <laughs> That's it. I'm hosing this stuff off before I leave the building. What happened? I was arrested in the gift shop of our Lord. God is good. I was buying this for you. I wanted to say I'm sorry for all the problems I've caused. This little angel's for all that. Reba, I have a confession to make. I'm glad you told Brock you wouldn't sign those papers. I never really wanted to get married in the Virgin Islands. Too ironic for you? It was Brock's idea. You know, he's been pushing to run away someplace and get it over with. Good old Brock. It's not that I need a fancy wedding. I just want one in a church surrounded by family and friends. Our union blessed by God. Reception to follow at Catfish John's. That's every little girl's dream. Instead, I'm knocked up, locked up, and looking at three to laugh. may not turn out the way any of us have dreamed. You probably won't get to wear a tiara or get struck by lightning, but... As long as your wedding expresses who you are, I'm sure it'll be very special. You think so? Oh, what do I know? No, I like what you said. Oh, Reba, thank you. You don't know what this means to me. You may find this hard to believe, but... I don't have a lot of friends. <laughs> Any chance you'd be my matron of honor? <laughs> Guard! All right, here comes Mom. This is your last chance to cut a deal. You give me your CD player and we'll call it even. <laughs> hey. Mom, I skipped school on Tuesday. Nice knowing ya. I took the bus to the downtown library. It was the wrong thing to do, and I'm sorry. Well, I'm disappointed in what you did, but I appreciate you being honest with me. So I'm gonna let it slide. But if this ever happens again, young lady, there are gonna be some serious consequences. I understand. Thanks, Mom. Mm. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna let it slide. <laughs> Look, this isn't fair. You never let me get away with anything. <laughs> You've got to be kidding. <laughs> we are just practicing for when we become parents. I mean, discipline is important. Well, what kind of discipline would you recommend for two 17-year-olds taking advantage of their little sister? You could let it slide. <laughs> I could, but what kind of parent would I be? My favorite. Hey, Reba. Hey, Brock. I brought you something. Brock, stop with the bribes. I'll just, just open it. <gasps> oh, look, it's my tiara. <laughs> It's all yours. I really am sorry about the screw-up. Thanks. So where is the form? I'll sign it. What? You can get married in St. Thomas. You actually made me feel sorry for Barbara Jean, and that ain't easy. <laughs> actually, <clears throat> we're not going to St. Thomas. No, I just wanted to thank you for helping BJ. Oh, that's all right. 
I enjoyed seeing her in jail. <laughs> the reason I wanted to rush the wedding wasn't for the tax break. But the truth is, I know how embarrassing this whole thing has been for you, and I, I just figured that a big to-do here in town would make things worse. Go on. But when BJ told me what you said about the wedding expressing who she is, I canceled the trip. You did? Yeah. We'll wait until the divorce is final, and then we can have the wedding that BJ's always dreamed of right here in Houston. Wait a minute. Because of me, you're going to have this big wedding right here in Houston with all our friends? Well, of course, we'll want all the kids there, too. Now, I realize the whole thing about Matron of Honor was ridiculous, but we do need someone to sing. <laughs> I don't think you'd like the song I'd pick. 